Good evening. Hello, everybody. Hello. I've got to sound really silly then. Hello. Uh, hi. Let's see who is going to join us this evening. If you are watching, please uh, drop us a like so I can see and uh, tell us what you're drinking. Oh, that's the note saying so I've just gone live. Tell us what you're sipping and what you are sharing. And I, hi, Ben. Ben's gig this everybody. Ben's the man of the hour. Ben from HMS Spirits. Hello. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. I'm like an old woman. Um, you're gonna have to, folks, 14 of you, how exciting. Um, I'm using a StreamYard and it, it'll ask you to show me your name so I can see who you are. Uh, so hello everybody, good evening, happy Friday night. The sun has come out, finally. Um, what are we having? What are we sharing? Uh, we are streaming live, real time, on the HMS Spirits page. Feel like I should be a bit posh on this page. I, I will explain my psychology that's going through my head. Hi Louisa, Gorilla Spirits, old Tom over ice, classy. Classy and brave. I feel like it's quite like a bold, classy drink. Um, HMS Spirits page, yeah, feeling like I want to bring my A game. Feeling quite like it's going to be quite posh on this page. It's all sharp and smart down there, down the south coast. On the Sip and Share um, <laughs> YouTube page, Sippers and Share is group. Our group with the discount codes. Hi, Rachel. Discount codes all in the announcements, including the discount code for this evening um and the sip and share uk facebook page as well so hi everybody uh, i hope you're having a lovely friday so far um i'm just gonna introduce what we are doing today um so for those that you don't know me because we've had lots of new friends and followers join us as a result I think as a result of the three pugs competition <clears throat> and you'll be excited to know folks on monday there's another competition coming your way. Um, so welcome to everybody who is joining us this evening. I hope you've got a drink in hand and you're just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, as uh, the song goes. Um, my name is Kate Carney. I created Sip and Share during lockdown and every Friday night since April, sometime in April, I've been reviewing a different gin every Friday. Uh, great job. <laughs> and by day, I'm a marketing consultant and a business owner. Woo, marketing consultant, business owner. And by evening and every time I can when I'm not looking after my three kids, oh, three dogs, I always say three kids, three dogs, two kids, I'm drinking gin. Uh, gin cocktails, oh, Ben's, Ben Man of the Hour is gin cocktails in the HMS horse box down in Forley this evening. Forley sounds lovely this evening. The way you said this evening makes me think it's nice weather. Although I'm making, not drinking. Don't confuse the two. Who knows what will come out. Um, so tonight, we are tasting, I'm going to hold it up, HMS Spirits. The reason why you are here is HMS Spirits. So Ben, off of HMS Spirits, kindly sent me two packs. Yes, two packets, two of these mini beautiful boxes. And I have put the link, in fact, I'm going to post the, um, the code. I'll post it now at the beginning. So there is 15% off everything on HMS Spirits website. And if you buy a full bottle, I think this is right, Ben, if I remember our Facebook conversation, you get a free glass and a free bottle of tonic. Nice, 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 nice. So, um, and I, I've also got a link to their website and I've put it up in the comments. You should see it in the comments. So sit back, relax. Correct, capital letters, correct, Ben is correct. So thanks for having me, HMS Spirits page. Welcome to the new audience. If you're not a follower of Sip and Share, then you've let yourself in for something this evening. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So HMS Spirits, now, the big deal, that, that the big deal tonight is twofold, actually. For those that don't know, this is first sip. So this is why it's super brave of distillers, distillers and producers to give me gin, because I have not tasted these before. So it's not like other reviewers or bloggers or influencers who will post gorgeous pictures. Um, oh, look at that, I love a chunky bottle. Gorgeous pictures of the gin they're drinking and talk about it. I have never tried it. Hi, Thea. Nice to see my friends on, my virtual gin friends. Um, I have never tried these. These are all unopened. And that's the thing. Every Friday night, we are trying something different. Three of them. 
<laughs> Lord help me. Um, three of these gorgeous minis. This is the girl gang I put the picture of earlier. Uh, so first tip, not tasted before, not tried. You guys have probably drunk some of this. I've heard very good things. Um, I actually was sent a website yesterday or the day before. I lose track of days. Um, and HMS Spirits, the Mary Rose one, which is this little girl here, uh, was in the top 20 gins of 2020. I hope you've seen that, Ben, because <laughs> you're in it. Um, uh, so first sip, live, fully live. Say what you think. And then, and then, and then, then, the following Wednesday, so next Wednesday, I do an interview with the distiller producer. So the lovely Ben and I are going to be chatting. Oh, Natalie, yes. Going to be chatting uh, next Wednesday night, talking gin, and I'll be sipping one of these. And actually, and actually, I'm thinking that's maybe the reason why Ben has sent me two packs very kindly, because one I'll whiz through tonight and drink, and the other pack I've got for next Wednesday. Result. And he's very kindly sorted out a competition. So we're going to be running a competition from Monday. So when the three pugs one finishes from Monday through to Friday next week, <coughs> excuse me, there will be a competition. It might be Thursday to win pack. Okay. Uh, Natalie, you will love all of them. I have quite a collection of them now. Natalie, love it. I'm excited. Uh, so HMS Spirits Company. So we are doing the Navy Strength. Now, this is my first ever Navy Strength, folks. First ever Navy. Scared and excited at the same time. So Navy Strength, Elizabeth Gin, which is the elderflower lady. Elizabeth Gin. This is why I feel I've got to be classy. For those that don't know me, I'm from, um, I live in South Cheshire, which you can't say Cheshire without sounding a bit posh, but I'm originally from Manchester. Uh, <laughs> Chris, Dreadnought. The name scares me though, Chris, is the winner for me. Love that gin more than I could love a human baby. I can believe that. I have two human babies and I can believe that. Um, so, and Mary Rose gin. So 57.5% Navy strength gin. The Elizabeth gin, which is the elderflower one, is 42%. Yeah. And the Mary Rose gin, which is the one, Ben, that was uh, listed in the top 20 gins of 2020 or something like that. I'll send you the link. 42 percent uh so i am gonna ask you all because i don't mind where should i start and the first person to answer i see the comment the first person to answer is where i will start so you tell me am i doing dreadnought uh which is our neighbor's dread elizabeth gin elderflower floral or mary rose london dry juniper lead with grapefruit and i haven't got any grapefruit i'm gonna tell you i haven't got any grapefruit so where do i start i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait until somebody tells me navy Rachel. <laughs> okay. I feel a bit like it's a plastic you've got to rip off. I've got to burst my navy cherry and I'm doing it with HMS spirits. In my nautical socks, this is as close to nautical as I'm going to get. Dreadnought, dreadnought, navy, Mary Rose and Elizabeth. Well, the ladies are going to come. I feel like excited and scared. So, love, I haven't seen a full size bottle, but, uh, well, apart from the website, loving a cute little chunky bottle. Love, love a see-through label as well, just to show you this. So, as we always do, <laughs> I do tend to sip it neat from the bottle. However, because I'm on HMS Spirits feed, folks, for those that I'm sipping share, you know me already. But for those that don't know me on the HMS Spirits feed, I will keep it classy and I'll use a glass. I'm not joking either. At least sipped it out of my hand the other day. Um, right. Dreadnought gin. What does dreadnought mean? Anyone know? Is dreadnought a thing? Like, what is it? Without, I'm not going to Google because I'll take away. <sighs> I feel like he's out to get me. Okay, junipery. <sighs> Strong. Smooth smelling, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't smell sweet and smack you in the face. It smells nice. Tasty, smooth, thick, rich, nice. Okay. Rosemary finish. Okay, so Navy Strength London Dry Gin with subtle notes of grapefruit and a soft rosemary finish. Now, I think Ben said, uh, when I asked for tasting notes, Ben was like, this can stand up to anything. I don't, I don't give a shit what you put in it, Kate. Sorry, by the way, I'm a swearer. Close the ears of your children and babies. We're drinking gin, folks. What do we expect? We're drinking sailor. We're, we're drinking spirits from the sailor in the, in the south coast. What do we expect? Um, so... We've got these tiny, tiny little cups, which I was gifted. Navy ship. Oh, okay. 
Ben says uh, for Dreadnought, Navy ship, submarine class, and new submarine coming in to take over from Trident. Oh, you can tell me more about that on Tuesday. You can tell I am not from down your way or having to spend much time with ships. Okay. Hobby says that Dreadnought is a type of battleship. Well, Ben's just given us an official answer. <clears throat> so, as we always do, we're going to taste neat. And then we are going to try it. I've got a bit of ice and I've got, I'm going to use these glasses tonight. I'm keeping it classy again, folks, because it's HMS Spirits. It's all very posh. It's all very beautiful. Branding is all very considered and tied together, very established. My expectations are high, which is exciting. Okay, we're going neat. 57.5% journey. Ready? Oh, it smells lovely. That's, whoa, it's quite sweet. That's delicious. Um, subtle notes of grapefruit, Ben. I think that's got very clear grapefruit and rosemary. Sorry to sound critical. No, we're gonna, but, oh, that's lovely. I'm gonna have my nose. Oh, Louisa, very sunny on the South Coast evening. Perfect for gin. Cheers, everybody, by the way. Sorry. Cheers. That's delicious. I can see why that's got a good reputation. Oh, God, it's strong, in it? In a nice way. That, for me, is very clear rosemary and um, grapefruit. Really ginny, really junipery, ginny. But then a lovely, clear, citrusy, not not like, I hate to say the friend, spicy citrus, but not like fresh citrus like that, but a nice grapefruit and rosemary. Very, very tasty. I was a bit scared, as you know. Not scared anymore. Mm. <coughs> I am now thinking that now I've tasted navy strength, I might never go back. Does anyone do that? Is anyone like, they've tried 57.5% gin, so everything else, I mean, you must be looking down on these 37.9s and thinking, I was going to swear again, who the hell are you? Um, let's pop a bit of ice with it. So, classic glass, very nice thick smooth quite sweet actually in a in a in a very tasty way but the like i get a hit of sweetness and some very clear uh grapefruit then my voice went very high sorry um let's pop an ice cube now i'm gonna open the indian tonic because um i'm having the indian tonic with the mary rose so i'm gonna open it until to kill two birds with one stone with one bottle of gin let's pop a bit more in oh that's very it's much um smoother and kind of more rounded than i thought it was going to be i thought you might get a really heavy gin like kick and actually you don't maybe i'm becoming a bit of an accustomed neat gin drinker as well folks but let's pop a bit of tonic in it ow cheers cheers Oh, Sophie, having Dreadnought this evening in the south of France. Now, Sophie, this is exactly why I said HMS Spirits feels like a classy affair to me. And you've just proved my point. Dreadnought this evening, if no one can see Sophie's comment. Just to... Dreadnought this evening in the south of France. Well, cheers. <laughs> my husband is watching. Cheers. Navy Strength is just a very different drink. Happily drink both. I will also happily drink both, Thea. lovely very very tasty very clear for me very clear um rosemary and grapefruit actually cheers sophie cheers france woo international i did bring up some pink grapefruit tonic actually just to try it i don't know whether that's going to break all the rules oh sophie sophie is biased she's my girlfriend well she wasn't she was just factual actually i think ben she just said Hi. She just said having dreadnoughts evening in South of France. She didn't say it's the world's best gin. She says so she's factual. Love it. Hi, user whose name I don't, I can't see. Hello. Um, really pleasantly su surprised and relieved for my first navy strength gin. Um, nice and rounded. Yeah, I did bring up pink grapefruit tonic and thought that might kind of rock the boat a bit. Oh, metaphor. I didn't know, didn't know it was one. Rock the boat a bit too much and I don't need it. 
what I do want to do is get a little sprig of rosemary, put more rice in it and drink that as it is. I'm not going to put more grapefruit in. I'm not the world's biggest grapefruit lover anyway. Um, but that's delicious. Off to France. Rachel, off to France tomorrow. So I had to choose a gin. Had to choose which, I think you mean which gin babies to take with me today. Who did you choose, Rachel? Who did you choose? Um, did you, Rachel, are you telling me you take you're taking dreadnought with you? I feel like I know, I feel like dreadnoughts. A man, and I know him. He's nice as well. <laughs> okay, so dreadnought, delicious. So can I go as far to say, because obviously this is my first Navy Strength gin, that it's a very good start. I'm, I'm new to the world of Navy Strength gin, but... Oh, it wraps around your mouth absolutely deliciously. I think deliciously is a made-up word. Okay. Yeah, have a lovely time, Rachel. Not at all jealous. Oh no. Um, okay, so dreadnought gin, very successful, lovely round and smooth. I get very clear rosemary and grapefruit. Um, nice hit of juniper at the beginning, and then a lovely round rosemary and grapefruit. And just a little gin kick, as you would expect from 57.5%. Um, delicious. Thank you. Where next on our travels? I think I've got to come up with like a journey analogy and through a ship analogy on our travels with HMS spirits. Where now? Elizabeth, my floral elderflower friend, or Mary Rose, my classy juniper-led, um, classy juniper-led friend. Where, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Elderflower, Mary Rose, elderflower, Mary Rose, who knows? You tell me, folks, which one next? What cocktail would you recommend the, dr the dreadnought for? Are you asking me, Bryn, or Ben? I'm going to let Ben answer. Ben's telling me to go to Elizabeth next. Okay, lovely. Um, that I think that, well, Ben has told me, Bryn, just on that point, Ben has told me that the Dreadnought can stand up to anything. And I'm not a cocktail, I'm not a big cocktail queen, as many, many a folk who are. I tend to do more classic G&Ts. He's asking, he's asking, he's asking Ben. Ben, Bryn's got a question. <laughs> oh, fresh fruit bramble any day. Yes. Um, okay, so Elizabeth gins, we've put our lid on uh, on our dreadnought and we've got our Elizabeth gin with a slice of orange. I have tangerine, <laughs> clementine, waiting on a food job. Okay, uh, a balance of London dry gin and natural elderflower distillate juniper lead with honey-like tones. Now I was very excited. Oh, that smells sweet. Little hint of honey I can smell. Very nice and floral. Oh, okay. Um, so let's try it neat as we always do. I've got a little system here, folks. Um, actually, Ben, what cocktails are you making this evening? Maybe we should make a cocktail together on camera next Wednesday. Now I love elderflower. I have a naturally sweet tooth and I love um I love elderflower and floral, floral gins. Mm, that's nice. More of a gin kick, actually, than I was expecting at the back. But really nice, balanced elderflower flavour. Mm, lovely. Oh, should we make some together? Lovely elderflower. Kind of, like, nice. <laughs> what I was expecting, what I was expecting from this gin, I think it's got a nice, it's got a little gin kick. I'm going to think about the honey. One second. Oh, I just get like a slither of honey through it as I'm tasting it. And you said try it with orange and elderflower tonic. So that's what I'm going to do, a light elderflower tonic. Mm, very tasty. A very tasty elderflower gin, that one. Very tasty. Smooth, easy to drink. Um, let's, oh, I'm not putting the lid on, I shouldn't be. Um, I've never had a Negroni. Can we believe this? Never had a Negroni. Um, so let's pop a bit of elderflower gin in with a slice of orange, piece of uh, piece of ice. So what cocktail should we make together next week then, Ben? Because I'm going to have to save some of this. <laughs> I would think about my stock supply. I am in love with the Dreadnought. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel a bit like I'm cheating on, what's her name? Elizabeth here. Um, because that Dreadnought has really, really impressed me. Um, but... 
Elderflower, lovely balance of elderflower flavour. Ben, are you talking, you're posting me a Negroni? Don't get me, I've got to ask that clarifying question, otherwise I get way too excited about somebody posting me a Negroni because I've never had a Negroni. This would be like a first Navy strength and a Negroni in a week, I don't think we'll be able to cope, especially not on a Wednesday night. However, if you are talking to me, awesome, I'm so grateful. <laughs> um, okay, look how pretty this is with a little random, thank you, Ben, thank you, random slice of clementine in, Elizabeth. Why is this called Ben Elizabeth Gin? Give us a little, I feel I've got to up my game, haven't I, in my ship, Navy ship knowledge. Oh, lovely. Do you know what? I, 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 neat, it was lovely. You've not had a grown either. I don't know who you are, Facebook user, but you've not had an either. Um, neat, it was lovely. It's really nice with the balance of the elderflower tonic because it just gives that extra... Oh, it's really nice. I can see why you said have it with an elderflower tonic. Just kind of makes the elderflower think even more balanced, to be honest. And I wish I had proper orange. I'm sorry, we are waiting on a food shop. How boring is that? Um, I wish I had some orange because I haven't. Okay, that's very tasty. That's a very sophisticated flavour, I think. It doesn't have the sweetness that sometimes you get, you know, with like an elderflower cordial or some cocktails that have elderflower in. Um, Thea, El Negroni's the only cocktail I've not finished. What a waste of gin that was. This is what I'm concerned about, Thea, with a Negroni with me. Uh, lovely. That's very nice. That's a very nice balanced elderflower taste gin. You still get a slight gin kick. Um, you can tell it's a gin. It's not like a cocktail syrup. It's not too sweet. And actually the, the elderflower tonic just lift I think it brings out the elderflower even more in the gin so you lose the you lose a bit of the ginny you lose a bit of, you lose a bit of the gin kick. you still have a bit but you lose a bit of the gin kick and you get a nice rounded elderflower taste what even is a negroni I can't oh it's hasn't it campari and I don't it's bitter I think it's bitter flavor I can't remember without getting a recipe up I think I had something like it in Italy last year um uh Okay, so that's tasty. I wish I had a real slice of orange because I can see how the orange would work nicely in that. But I think the elderflower, um, the elderflower tonic just lifts it and kind of balances the gin a little bit more. I think that's a good shout. I'm curious. I've only got an Indian tonic upstairs with me because I'm in the office. <laughs> um, but I think that's the right shout to have with, eld with an elderflower tonic. And I think if you like elderflower generally, it's not, this is not too sweet and it's nice and round and balanced. Yeah, it's tasty. Got quite a creamy finish, actually. Mm, quite a creamy finish to that. Yeah, very tasty. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say it one more time. That's got quite a creamy finish. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just going to have a little bit more of Dreadnought just to rinse my mouth out. It's bloody delicious. Sorry, that's really, really nice. I might be going and utilising the sip and share discount code on a bottle of Dreadnought because that is a very sophisticated, rich, smooth, thick, tasty gin. Mm. Look at my lips, that one. Um, gin, Campari and revved vermouth, Thea says. Yeah, well, uh, I am entering into a whole world of unknown with Negroni. So, Ben, if we're doing that on Thursday, Wednesday, sorry. Yeah, kind of excited and scared. Uh, very, very bitter. And I like a bit bitter, bitter, much better when you use Aperol instead of Campari. Now, I just gave away a bottle of Aperol to my cousin at the weekend uh, because I'm not the world's biggest lover of Aperol and it's been sat there on the shelf. Um, so, that makes me a bit scared about Negroni. But, Got to be in it to win it. Uh, okay, last but not least, Louisa, is the discount a long-term offer? I'm going to say yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't asked Ben about the timelines, but I know it's going to be at least for, we've got to get past Wednesday, have an interview on Wednesday. You know, let's let's cross your fingers. 15% though, and a bottle of tonic and a glass on, uh, if you buy a full bottle of gin. 
awesome. I think I might be getting a bottle of the Dreadnought. Yum, 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 yum. Um, okay, last but not least on our little mini trio of HMS Spirits journey, uh, premium London Dry Gin with a subtle note of grapefruit and soft rosemary finish. Okay, so have I gone mad here? Right, so is the Mary Rose a lighter version of the Dreadnought? If so, I'm excited because it's the same description apart from, uh, uh, oh, Ben's, Ben's like, I've got customers here, I've got business to sell. Um, so I had to say, of course, it's okay. They're all named after ships. Had some slightly dark past, and some have a slightly dark past. Oh, the ships have it. I bet they do actually. So we need to choose wisely. Feedback. Feedback was we were a bit masculine. So I felt Elizabeth was a bit more feminine. She is Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Um, offer on for a month, folks. Boom. Boom. Yes. So a month. So that takes us to. What's that like the third, 14th? I don't even know what the date is. 10th of 10th of August. It's my birth. That's my birth. That's the day after my birthday. So the offer ends the, the day after my birthday, which means nothing to anyone apart from me. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, they're the same. Dreadnought is the bigger brother. Delicious. Okay, so we've got Mary Rose Gin. Mid-August. 10th, August the 10th. Yeah, I can tell it's the same as the Dreadnought. It's got nice feels. <laughs> Louisa, that gets me through payday. Yeah. Could get it. How funny. That's really tasty. I can tell it's the same as Dreadnought. Let me pour a bit more Dreadnought. Any excuse? Any excuse to pour a bit more Dreadnought? Uh, oh, God. Wrong cup. Oh, my God. Right. Got to get them in the, lap, in the right lines. Okay, so this is Dreadnought, and this is what's her name? Mary Rose. Yeah, junipery, grapefruity, rosemary. <coughs> Sorry, I get on the Dreadnought just to go back to that slightly. Not that I'm obsessed with it, but just a little bit. Um, I get a real sweeter at the very beginning I get a much sweeter kick which really appeals to me I don't get that same sweetness kick don't know why I'm probably just being a weirdo um on the Mary Rose gin but I do get the same starts with juniper and then I get rosemary and a little hint of grapefruit so let's just do what we're gonna do all right, little setup going on here. Um, so Ben, are we going to make a Negroni then? Ben, Ben, who's probably off with customers, just us folks. Ben's busy working, got to earn the spends. Lockdown. Are we um going to make a cocktail? Because I've got to get my A game on. Yes, that's what it's okay. Less water in the dreadnought, so it should be a sweeter, smoother spirit. Yes, you are unsurprisingly, Ben. You are correct. I do get the hint of sweetness at the beginning, which I really, really like. It's not sweet as in sickly sweet. It's not that sort of, you know, sugar. It's not a sugar rush. But I just get a little sweetness at the beginning, which is very enjoyable. Um, okay, so a little dash of Mary Rose. So for those, you know, for the weaker spirited among us folks who are going to go with the Mary Rose, Also delicious. Yeah, Th with this one. Oh, Chris, he's rushed off his feet. Look at the back of his head. Oh, bless him. Sorry, Ben. Keep going. Keep serving customers gin. Keep them happy. Um, So with this one, with the Mary Rose, I probably would add the grapefruit just to add that little extra bit, that little extra thing. I probably would add the grapefruit with this one. I can still tell it's got grapefruit and rosemary kind of hints in it, but I would just be more tempted to add add bits, add garnishes to this one. I don't think the Dreadnought, um, Dreadnought is my name? Dreadnought, no, I said that word. Dreadnought needs it at all. But this one, I would just add little bits to, just to elevate it a little bit more. Mm, just a tiny, it's very tasty. Very tiny, tiny bit of grapefruit, just to lift it even more, which I think maybe because like, um, 
Ben said it's got less water in the dreadnought. So I'm gonna that's gonna be my drink this evening after this. Um I would just add a little bit of um freshness with the grapefruit in the Mary Rose, but still very delicious, very tasty. Uh so that's it for our trio this evening, 30 minutes in our journey through HMS spirits. The 15% offer code as Chris as um Chris I'm looking at Chris's name as Ben has said is going to last us for four weeks which is awesome and you get 15% uh, off and if you buy a full bottle you also get a free glass we know I love a good glass very happy with my glass my glass um you get a glass and you get a bottle of tonic I think Ben said it's full size but I can't remember I can't remember don't quote me on that um on Monday, we're going to launch a competition so you can win this trio, which now I know what I know is brilliant. And I know a couple of people have messaged me saying they really hope that they get it, this gets a good review because they're loving the nautical theme and maybe they go on holiday on cruises or live down in these parts. Um, very, very delicious. I The winner for me out of the three, and you're probably not going to be surprised at this, is the Dreadnought. That is a very special gin according to my palate. Um, the other two, both very lovely. I think the Mary Rose gin, pop a tiny, like a half a piece of um, uh, rosemary in there and a little, a little, I was gonna say a sprig of grapefruit wrong around, a um, little bit of grapefruit, just to lift it a bit more. And the elderflower does really well. And I wish I had a proper bit of orange in that, but a really nice trio, really good gift price and a gift set as well. You think you're getting three 50 milliliters of full strength spirits. I think it's 20 quid, 19, 19, 99 on the website. Um, and then you've got a discount code. <clears throat> thank you, Ben. I know you're so busy. So thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for trusting me drinking your gin live on camera for the first time. Ah. And I will see you all on, uh, so we're announcing the winner of the Three Pugs competition on Monday. Sunday night, we're doing our gin and chatter, gin and with the team from Gin and Comic. So we're doing a drinking gin together, having a bit of a comedy night. And then next Wednesday, Ben will have some messages. Who knows what next Wednesday evening is going to hold. I am looking forward to it. Maybe we're going to be making cocktails. Negroni, I'm a little bit scared, but I feel safe in the HMS spirits family hands it's all good thank you sophie enjoy the south of france you lucky lady and uh, i will see you all over the next few days have a lovely friday and a great weekend everybody thanks team hms spirits thanks guys bye bye